For this episode of Have a Seat, Gabe is going glasses free. Hey guys, Gabe Trujillo here. Time for another edition of Have a Seat with Gabe Trujillo. For those of you who haven't come across my videos yet, my name is Gabe and I am starting this vlog as a way to share my experiences and daily adventures of being a person uh, who works around in a wheelchair. Uh, I became a quadriplegic a couple decades ago, so I thought this would be a fun, interesting way just to share uh, information about what it's like living life as a person with a disability. Uh, I cover a lot of topics, so if this is something that you're interested in learning more about, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe and go ahead and listen to this video. For today's video, uh, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm answering a popular what if question. So a lot of times I get the question, Gabe, what if you could walk again tomorrow? What's the first thing you would do? Uh, I think about this question a lot, uh, just randomly when I'm just hanging out at the house, doing whatever. Um, and after a lot of thought, uh, it's kind of strange, but the first thing that I would do is just go around my entire house, clean and organize everything. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, a really big clean freak. Uh, I enjoy organization. Uh, I always tell the story that when I was in first grade, uh, I was known as the only kid in school who walked around with an organizer uh, in the first grade. Uh, so I was always a neat freak, always enjoyed things that are clean and organized. And ever since uh, I became a quadriplegic, one of the things that bugs me the most is being around things that are dirty or misplaced or out of order. So when you're somebody who can't physically get up, move things or clean things yourself, uh, it drove me absolutely crazy. So uh, in this what if scenario, if I was able to regain my ability to move and walk around, uh, the first thing I would do is go around the house, move all the things that I wanted to move, whether that's reorganizing uh, the displays of my vinyl figures or just uh, coordinating and rearranging all my comic books or sports card collections. Uh, I would pretty much spend the entire day just putting stuff around the way I want it to be. Uh, because I'm around this place so much, uh, I just wanted to make sure that everything was neat and in order. And since I had the ability to do so, that would be the number one thing on my priority list. Uh, of course, there are the, all the other things I'd want to do, um, whether that's like giving my parents and all my family members a hug. Um, having not done that in almost two decades, over two decades actually, uh, just to have that human interaction and that touch uh, is something that I always miss. Uh, um, I've thought about that on and off ever since I became uh, a quadriplegic, just not having the physical ability to do whether it's a high five or a hug or just that type of touch. Uh, it's one thing that I miss. Like the first 14 years of my life, I did that on a daily basis without even thinking about it. But now when you realize you're not being able to do it anymore, uh, it, it's something that you miss pretty quickly. Uh, so al along with the, the trivial organization of all my stuff, uh, being able to have that ability to just interact with humans uh, on a personal touch level, um, that's something that I would, would enjoy doing once again. Um, as the cliche goes, you never realize how much you miss something until it's gone. And becoming a quadriplegic definitely brought all that stuff into the forefront. Uh, you realize that all the things you took for granted uh, are no longer available to you and you start to miss them more often than you would think. Uh, so that'd be another interesting thing that, that I would like to do. Um, but yeah, just going back to the organization stuff, I, I was a, a really big kid and I always wanted to make sure that everything was neat and organized. Uh, when I was younger, uh, I collected Spawn comic books. Uh, I still collect them now, but I don't really display them much. Uh, but when I was little, uh, I actually got up and started using the comic books as a wallpaper in my bedroom. And so every time I got a new issue, uh, I would hang it up on the wall. And of course, when I did it, uh, I did it numerically. So on that very end corner of my wall, I'd start with number one, 
and then I made it go all the way around. I think I got up to like 60 some issues when you go the whole uh, diameter of the room. And if there was a one that I missed or what I didn't have at the time, I'd make sure I left an open space for it. So that way when I did get it, I can go climb up on my chair and pin it up uh, on top of the wall. Um, so I just thought it was something cool. Uh, and then outside of that, I like I said, I'm a neat freak at heart and anything that I could move and arrange, I, I would have. Um, I, I hated clutter and all that messiness. So um, yeah, that's one of the first things that I would do. Um, but yeah, it's something I, I think about constantly. Um, just all these what if scenarios, like what if I did wake up and have the ability to move again? Like what's the first thing that I would do? Um, yeah, it, it's, it's interesting. Um, I mean, you could spend all day on what if scenarios, but uh, as, as fun as it would be to live in the dream world and just spend all day doing that, you do have to come back to reality every once in a while. So um, my days are consumed with, with work stuff during the work days and I just try and keep busy on my off time and just take a moment or two to, to do those random what if scenarios and dreams just to keep me grounded and to maintain that sense of hope for one day maybe I'll regain that ability that I've been looking for and I'll be able to do all this stuff for real. Um, so yeah, what, what are some of the things that, that you appreciate doing that you, you never thought you would be able to take for granted? Uh, if you're a, a fellow person with a disability or you know someone who's a quadriplegic, go ahead and throw down in the comments some of the things that, that they've said that they've missed or, or that you've missed uh, ever since becoming a quadriplegic. Uh, I enjoy um, seeing everybody's comments and uh, I like to start a dialogue as much as possible. So if you do have any ins insights on what you would do or what things that you would miss, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll take a read at them and then leave comments as well. So that's just a nice little quick uh, have a seat vlog episode uh, for this time. Uh, again, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everyone out there who's subscribed and liked all my videos. Uh, this is kind of just something I want to do and a way for me to just share my experiences and give everyone a little insight as to what it's like living life with a disability. Um, so like I said before at the beginning, if this is something that's interesting to you or something you want to continue to learn more about, be sure to give me a like and subscribe and also take a look at some of my older uh, videos as well. Until next time, this is Gabe Trujillo and you've been watching Have a Seat. Mm -hmm.